core game diagram. Now, anytime you're pitching a game, a key part of the game development process is the actual loop of what the game player has to consistently do to progress in the game. So we have core loop diagrams and they themselves are then split into different parts. If you think of Mario Brothers, how you have to collect different coins or gems to progress throughout the game and you can jump up to headbutt the bricks to generate more powers and you do that throughout the game. So you'll have your core loop and within that loop you'll have other loops that will again add progression to the game. For our game, which we have called Omoja, you have to find portals, you have to explore because it's an augmented reality experience. So Niantic, with their software development tools, they want to encourage exploration, they want to encourage social interaction. So these are things to add into your game loop. And also the good thing about the core game loop and working with a engine such as the Niantic game engine, which is a plugin for Unity, is you can repeat it over different genres as well, because your game loop should act as a framework so you can expand on it and you know take away from it as you see fit. So that's the core game loop.